was really excited for it. I didn't really know what to expect, but they completely blew out of the water everything that I was anticipating and all of the stuff that I, you know, could really go home and actually do to make my career better, which was my favorite part of actually like, oh, it's not just a bunch of information. It's like stuff you can actually do to make your career better and expand. I think there's a lot of strength in knowing exactly what you want to focus on and what you want to do. First of all, you never stop organizing. And Secondly, the environment changes. I know a little bit about social media, but we're all learning about it. Because we're creating it. Our preferences are dictating how this thing is going. The more one has a goal and a clear idea of what they want to do, then that's the way your Facebook page is kind of geared. That is where your Twitter feeds go. That's what your blog is about. That's what your podcast is about. Any of these things that you care to do. I want to emphasize that the, the organization part is really, really key. It has to be part of your routine as a person. Everybody has a lot of messages being hurled at them all day long by different companies. All right, well, you're a company. You're a brand, you're a company. So you've got to get in there and start making some noise about what you do. How many times a day do you get a message about Coca-Cola? If we did a little survey out there, uh, what's, a, what's a beverage that you could mention? You know, cream soda is going to be way down here. Coca-Cola, right up here. So, name an actor, I don't know, Jim Meskin. Organize yourself to promote, certainly every week. Don't miss a week. Actually, physically take your calendar and go from nine to noon on this day, promo. What's it gonna be? I don't know, I'll figure, out, I'll figure it out at 8.59. This is what you keep going week after week. Keep this going. Most of us have a propensity at doing a big burst of stuff. And I sent out 5,000 postcards. We're wearing away a little bit at, at the resistance. We need to keep ringing the doorbell. Try not to get discouraged, but just look at how you can do something that'll move yourself to the next thing that needs to be done and just be proactive about it. It's a flow. It's like a river of people that these casting people are hearing about. We gotta keep in the river, you know, we gotta keep reminding them that we're out there and that we could maybe we're a good choice. It begins to build the agreement that Jim's an actor. Casting people go, uh, I don't know, bring Mike and Pete and Phil, and you know they kind of have them right there on their desktop. And that means getting enough sleep, eating right, taking your vitamins, doing whatever you do to be ready. Have the dramatic shot, have right. the comedic shot, have the commercial shot, have the theatrical shot. Mm -hmm. You have to organize for us and and just have it so that it's ready to go and fire out to whoever wants to call you. All these barriers that have been in my way, it's like they just somehow just disappeared hearing all this amazing information and stories that were shared. I'm so psyched right now because I feel like before, you know, you kind of do a little bit of trial and error, but now with like the very precise things that they tell you to do, it just makes it so much easier to be like, okay, I can do this. I'm excited actually. Keep it alive, keep it fun, and stay focused and organized. And then I think you'll all be working. <laughs>